hey y'all welcome back to another video if you're new here my name is jasmine don't forget to like comment and subscribe let's start with one of my favorite features split view to access it just tap the three dots at the top and select split view from here just pick another app you want to open i'm going to open safari so for some reason you cannot drag and drop photos from the pinterest app so just keep that in mind Anyways, split view is definitely a go-to when I'm digital planning. It saves so much time without all the switching back and forth between different apps. It really just makes multitasking a lot easier with the two apps being side by side. I also use it to look things up, which is super helpful for when I'm copying and pasting. Split view is that girl for real and I've been hooked ever since I started using it. Custom widgets are clutch because they make it super easy to see what matters most at a glance. One of my favorite widgets is reminders. All you have to do is open the app, hit new reminder, and type out your to-do list. It's definitely given organized. When I tell y'all this app really helps me stay on top of my tasks throughout the day. Once it's added as a widget, just long press on it, then tap edit widget and select list to pick which to-do list you want to show. I also have a battery widget that shows the battery percentage on all of my devices, which is very helpful. If you're wondering how to add a widget, just long press on the screen, tap edit, and then hit add widget. From there, just search for the widget you're looking for. In my case, it's notes. It'll be added to your home screen, and you can also play around with the widget size to fit your layout. If you're looking for a more in-depth tutorial, check out my how to customize your iPad video. I'll drop the link in the description. And then I have my calendar widget. I love being able to see the time and my full calendar at the same time. If you're not familiar with focus modes, they're like custom do not disturb settings that block distractions and switch up your home screen based on what you're doing. To create one, just swipe down, tap the focus tab, then hit the plus sign. From there, you can set up your own custom focus. As you can see, I'm creating a mindfulness focus that I'll use whenever I'm meditating or practicing mindfulness on my iPad. These are the notification settings you can customize to allow certain people and apps to notify you while their focus mode is on. Here's where you pick your home screen wallpaper, add widgets, and switch things up so your iPad looks different depending on your vibe. You can create focus modes for work, fitness, studying, reading, sleep, whatever. The options are endless. Swiping up from the left side of your screen lets you take a screenshot of whatever you've got pulled up. When you tap the first button at the top, you'll get the option to copy all the text. The second button lets you add markups. And the last button lets you share or save the screenshot. If you're doing research, whether it's for work or something personal, this feature is super helpful and a real time saver. Plus, you can mark it up and highlight as much as you need. Once you're done, just pick what you want to do with the screenshot. I love me a good shortcut. I always have one set up to take me straight to my current planners. Shortcuts make it quick and easy to access your go-to templates and apps. Go to the Shortcuts app, tap the plus icon, and from there you can add any shortcut you want. So I always start by renaming mine, then I search for the specific action I want it to perform. Then I go to Open App and pick the app I want to open, which is SoundCloud. You also have the option to choose an app icon or photo before adding it to your home screen. Alright, let's get into how Scribble with the Apple Pencil helps me get stuff done on my iPad. Scribble lets you write anywhere you normally type, search bars, notes, reminders, etc. You literally just write it out and it turns into text. To turn this feature on, just go to your settings, tap on Apple Pencil, and make sure Scribble is toggled on. I love using Scribble when I'm digital planning. It really makes my iPad feel like a digital notebook. And the scratch to delete feature is definitely T. Next up is Quick Note. It's perfect for dropping a quick reminder or note without messing up your whole flow. Child, you can draw on it, type on it, basically do everything you normally do in the Notes app. Just swipe up from the right side of your screen and a little note box will pop up. 
What I really like is that you don't have to stop what you're doing or switch to a whole different app. So yeah, like I mentioned, it has all the same functions as the Notes app, just in a smaller floating note box. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. I just found out that Apple devices come with built-in background sounds. Go to your settings, tap on accessibility, then scroll down to audio and visual. Tap on background sounds, turn it on, and you'll get a list of different sounds to choose from. Swipe down to open control center, look for the ear icon, and tap the music notes to turn your background sounds on. You can also adjust the volume to fit your preference, of course. These are some of my favorite features on the iPad for productivity. Comment your faves below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.